All right, we're in Adobe Muse, and I'm going to open up the master page. You'll notice that I have a home page, a gallery page, and a fax page. Where's the contact page? Well, I'm going to show you. If you click on the home page, the contact links with down here where it says contact phone, and then it's far enough or close enough where they can see the contact form right here. So I'm going to go to the master page where I have the information for the header and information for the footer. So I'm going to redo the navigation here. Like I said, I only have a home, a gallery, and a fax page. I don't have a contact page. So how do I make that navigation? All right, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's kind of a tricky little thing. So you can take the horizontal from the menus from the widget library menus horizontal. Drag this out here. And you'll notice the first thing you notice really is that it's styled up. We don't want that style. So we can right click on it and then click on, uh, where do I click? Clear all stylings right there. Ooh, all right. And I want to have this as wide as that one right there because that's what I'm going to redo. So we have home, gallery, facts. I want to put contact in there. So let's click on the little button. Um, blue arrow and menu type let's go to manual for menu type and you'll only have one button now and you'll want to add more click once click twice click on a little plus sign and now i have four okay so now i can go in there double click double click double click double click and i can write in what i want to have in these and contact put fax faqs all right get the move tool and select select away and then select it so you're selecting the whole thing and not just one instance so select it click on the little blue, blue arrow okay so we're doing manual direction horizontal um, item sizes now i like to do uh, uniform spacing so that will uh, put everything in the middle. It just squished it all up, but that's okay. Click on it one more time and drag it. It's a secret of doing it. Show left icon, no. Show label, submenus only, no. Horizontal, that's fine. Horizontal center, top align. So they already know that you want to do a center align, so it's already set to that. Uh, we can double click on the word home, select it, and we can go to text and we can figure out what kind of text we want. We want to do, um, I'm going to do 17 Arial, and the color, I want to do a dark gray. I think that's good enough right there. Press enter, and it will take that effect. So now, the thing is, did you notice up here? Look at what happens up here where it says normal menu item, when I double click on the word home over here, that goes away, no states. Okay, so you can select the home and make it that color, but then once you're done, you wanna make the rollovers. So select it once, select it twice, and it selects the button itself. Now we come over here to normal, do the rollover. It's just like one of those rollover buttons for Muse. And now we go to text all the way over here. If you don't see all these options, make sure that your program is fitting inside the computer screen. Click on text. And I want it to go darker. Let's click on black just to see. Oh, it's, it's there. Let's go a little lighter than that. I don't want to go totally black. There we go. Press enter. All right. So that's what it's going to look like when you do a rollover is going to be dark, and then when you go mouse down, it's going to be dark because Muse is all at like, we already know you want to do that. And then when it's active, or that light gray that we had before. So now we need to hyperlink them. The home, you just click on it. You don't select the word. Do not select the word and then hyperlink it because you can't. So what you're going to do is get the move tool. Make sure you just select the button itself. Okay. Then the drop down, I want to click on top because I don't want it to go home. I want it to go to the top. 
or you can click on home. It's one. It's it's up to you what you want to do there. Then gallery. Let's click that, and I'm going to click the go gallery page, and then facts. I'm going to do the facts page, and then for contact, this is the one right here. We're going to hyperlink to the home pages contact anchor that I showed you before at the beginning of this video. Click on that one. Okay, I'm going to delete this one, so it's out of the way. Drag this up. So it's centered with the logo on the left. Then I'm going to go File, Preview Site and Browser. The whole site, not just the page. You want to do the whole site. Because if you only do the page, it's just going to show the home page. And you click on Gallery, you're going to say, how come it's not working? So do Preview Site and Browser, the whole site. All right, so we have Home, Gallery, Fax, Contact. I'm going to click on Contact, and it's going to go to the bottom. Mm, there we go. So I have my contact, have my name down here the form now notice I put another navigation in click on home see how that navigation goes away I made another tutorial on how you guys can do that it's an animated navigation that comes down so click on home it stays up here at the top see where it says top click on gallery it goes to the gallery page click on facts it goes to the facts page click on contact and it'll go back to the home page on the bottom See where it says index.html, hashtag contact. And that's it.